When it comes to using better proposals for real and sending real proposals to real clients, the one thing you'll wanna do is get rid of any mention of better proposals. Now there's three places that we will appear and you need to take steps to remove them. So the first and the easiest thing really is to get rid of the badge that's displayed when you send a proposal to your client. It says at the bottom, sent with better proposals. And it also appears once they've signed the proposal, it says signed with better proposals. So you can turn this off. If you leave it on and they do click through, you get paid and become a customer, you get, you get yourself some commission. So it might be worth leaving it on, but if you do want to remove it, all you need to do is click settings, proposal branding, and then click email, and then just turn the little, uh, the little green notification, just turn that off. And, uh, and that won't appear there. Um, that is only available to anybody that is on uh, monthly or annual uh, paid plans. And if you're on the pay as you go plan, for instance, then you can't turn that off. Um, now, the second thing is your custom domain. Now, this is when somebody opens the link to view your proposal in their browser. By default, they'll see betterproposals.io forward slash proposal and then a load of old nonsense. What you want that to say is your domain forward slash proposal, then the required nonsense. Uh, so the easiest thing to do is to just follow the on-screen instructions over in the proposal branding section. So again, it's settings, proposal branding, and then click on custom domain. Now when you're there, just have a good read through that and then follow all of the instructions. You might want to send it to your web team if you're not 100% okay with FTP and all that kind of stuff, um, but it is fairly straightforward if you follow everything that's there. Um, if you are using something like Squarespace or Wix or any sort of um, online uh, website builder where it's all sort of hosted by them, um, th th there is an alternative method to setting this up. Um, all you need to do is just get in touch with support and we'll explain exactly how to do that. Um, the last thing you'll need to do is whitelist your sending domain. Now this has two major benefits. The first is that if you're sending to anybody with a Gmail address, it will say by default, you know, from John Smith via betterproposals.io, which obviously you don't want. So if you whitelist your domain, that then either removes that or replaces it by your own domain, which is what you are after. The second thing it does is it pretty much bypasses any inbox or junk mail issues. Um, so that's the major reason that you would whitelist your sending domain. Um, it's just like a VIP pass to the inbox basically. So um, all you need to do there is just click settings and then whitelist my domain or domains. And then you can just follow, again, follow the on-screen instructions. The, there's a whole wizard for it that just walks you through the process. There is something you will need to do with your domain provider and do some DNS stuff. Again, you if you can't do this or you don't know how to do it or simply you don't want to do it, just get in touch with your domain provider or hosting provider and they will do this for you. Um, but again, all the instructions are there. Um, so go through those three steps. They shouldn't take you very long. They are quite quick and easy. Um, obviously, if you know how to do them, if not, get some professionals in to give you a hand um, or get in touch with the support team and we will put you in to touch with the right people.